Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another episode of the Night Garden. And behind me you can see a new contraption that we're going to have a look at shortly. But first of all there was a librarian there, and there was a blacksmith here. And now they are here. Safely locked away, where we can use them at our discretion and they cannot be attacked. Here is our librarian with his lovely paper trade and the book trade at the end. And all I did for that was I put cobblestone blocks on top of the glass into the corner here, railway tracks on top, straight in the hole. As you can just see they're still sitting in the minecarts. I thought that's the safest place to keep them. And we may want to move them again so minecarts are good. Right, next. Next trick or next build. Next build, I built one on my own. And we might build it we're gonna build another one together once we're seeing how this works. Now I don't really want these sheep, I'm beginning to regret the sheep. Oh, this sword's just savage. What is it? Sharpness 5, knockback 2, fire aspect 2. Yeah, there ain't much going to survive that unless it's wearing armour. Right, we want two cows at least. Come on, don't be scared. I expect they're a bit frightened after that killing rampage. Come on. Don't be stupid. Well, one of them's coming and that's pushing the other one. Come on. I don't care how you get here as long as you get here. Ah. Right. The stupidity has ended. New darker colour sugar cane. Biome specific in the snapshot. Hello. Don't make me go and make a lead. I can't be bothered. I thought wheat will suffice. So yeah, we may wish to get ourselves a perfect butcher and a perfect farmer. And for that they might want raw pork or raw beef or even raw chicken. Ah, have I got any ladders on me? Good, because I made a slight technical error here. Have we still got these cows? At attention. Hello? Hello? Follow me. Oh, now I am in the breeding cell. Not good. Right, thankfully this is not a fence post, so I should be able to... Can I jump on top of it? Yes, I can. That was a disaster. Let's have another go. Oh dear, one's swimming. Come on. These animals are so stupid. Right now, come on. Come up here. We thought three wide would be wide enough for you. Obviously not stupid enough to fall directly into my trap. Get up here. Working with animals and children. Don't do it. Don't do it. Right. How far are you going to follow me? Get in that water stream. Get in that machine. Thank you. Now I want your mate. Where did he go? Or she go? Come on. You are not a squid. What are you doing? Get grip yourself. Come on. Are we all right here now? Coming? I can't believe that. I cannot believe the stupidity of this one particular cow. Come on. Please, I'm trying to make a video here. We ain't got all day and it's getting dark. Come on. 
Well, you can see the steps. You can see the pressure plates to keep the water in place. And you can see how inefficient this is, but this is probably still... I was going to say the easiest way to get livestock in here. But I'm now beginning to wonder myself. Right. Let's just make this a little bit more stupid cow proof. See if we can help here a little bit. Right. Come on. Last go. Well, not last go, because we're going to get this. We're going to get it one way or another. Come on, this way. This way. Come on. Get in. Oh, I didn't think they'd resist water current that well. Here you go. We're in. Lovely jubbly. Get rid of the water block. Right, so I'm going to tear this down. There's a shovel, not the silk touch, the other one. I'm going to tear this down and then I'll come back to you and show you what we've got here. And we're just going to fence this off before the zombies ensue. Right, so let's start with three of our blocks, three of our lime green stained clay blocks. And lime green is cactus green dye mixed with bone meal, in case you didn't know. Four blocks there, one of them being above the torch. Right, I think we want another torch on here. We want a piston. I can hear pistons firing everywhere. That was the daylight sensor pushing the baby villagers across into the tube. Zombies all after villagers. Right, piston. Dispenser. Come on, get up there. We want the switch here, powered, and we want a button here, and iron bars there, we want one, two, shift click to place them on the piston, or at least on the dispenser, the piston will place OK. So we've got a cross round there. Knock these out. One, two. We can get them at the bottom. Right, I think that's all the blocks we need here. This is important. We want this block here, otherwise we're going to get flooded. That operates the piston. That'll push the, like, say the drops forward if they get stuck in any way. And we want a button up here to operate the water, which goes in there. That didn't do anything, so that means we have to unpower that. There we go. Water. No water. So we have chickens, cows, and the next thing we're going to get, cows, is pigs. So we need to set up the ramp again. And then we're going to get some of these pigs from over here. So that should be fun. Right, let's get some carrots from the field. We shouldn't, we shouldn't need many. 21 is more than enough, I'd have thought. Right. see how these boys are getting on, boys and girls. We'll just get rid of the gate completely because the gate's normally a pain. Right, this could be quite interesting because last time three wide didn't seem wide enough. So this time we've gone one wide and I've just realized that I haven't got any water at all. Um, I think I'm just going to go for another bucket. Seeing as we have an iron golem farm, iron doesn't cost us anything. So here's our 
A one wide path. What? So if I can't get up there, they've got no chance. Right, this really isn't going to work. But let's have a go. Right, come on. Hello. You better come this way because if you don't, you're going to die. If you come this way, you might not die. You may be lucky enough to be breed and stock. So obviously when you get underneath your animal breeder with your sword, you don't want to kill them all. You really want to leave some. Come on. Come on, one wide is plenty wide enough for you. Come on, piggy. Yeah, see, you like it in there. Oh, you fool, Mad Marsh Man. Have we got one on us? We have. We may be able to get away with it. Get out of the way, pig. Done. One pig in. Come on, piggy. Come on. You're in there. Get in. Three pigs in. Yeah, you might as well come as well. It's one wide malarkey's working loads better than the two wide. And those pigs are just more stupid than than cows. Right, that'll do. Clean up operation should be loads easier. Try not to wreck the cow breeder in the process. I did have to take some ladders off the cow breeder just to allow me in. Right, cow breeder ladder, I believe. Right, ladders. I had to steal them off here to get the dirt in. I suppose we really should just do that and that for now. So again, get the water going. Pigs bounce. Do 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 do. Breed pigs. Click on pigs as they're bouncing up and down in the water. And then let them settle down again. So wait till you've got so many feet you can't see what you're doing. Get in with your sword. Kill pigs. So there you go. We have chickens breeding, killing and cooking automatically. And that's doing famously for us. I'll have a top up while we're here. Cows and pigs and we've got our two our perfect blacksmith and our perfect librarian segregated and we still have some dirt up there. Now we've done some work we want to start reaping the benefits reaping the benefits of all our lovely work so, yes. First thing we want to do is make a brand new pair of shears. And we have an ender chest up here, don't we? We do. Lovely. We need one of these up here. And that's it. Iron to us is nothing. So we have an iron golem farm. If you haven't seen that, maybe we should go back there sometime soon. That can go on there. This can go on here, and we have silk touch shears. Oh, look at that. Look, we must have caps locks on. Mads. Silky shears. Glass eaters, I know they normally get called, but just as good for ice. Take no durability on ice. So there's silk touch shears. That's awesome catching them with a fishing rod because you only get a 1% chance of enchanting a book with silk touch. Now we want to repair our boots, we want to repair our chest piece. So what have we got? We need a pair of boots, they cost us nothing, chest piece costs us nothing. None of these are anywhere near needing repairing yet. 
think we might have a spare chainmail helmet. And let's have a pair of chain leggings. Now I really don't think... No, three levels is not going to do either of these. We don't even need to look really, do we? 19 that way round. 15 that way round. Right, so let's go for a little walk. And there's one thing we need to do. We need to move our portal over here instead of in the sugar cane field. It's not a huge problem being in the cane field, but what am I doing? Am I oh, feather falling, please. Before we do anything too foolish. Are we going to miss the jungle tree? We are. Let's see if we can get up there. Lovely. Draw our sword, just in case. So this is the village tunnel. That is the jungle temple tunnel. This is of course in the ceiling of the nether. We are at Y117, the actual bedrock's at Y28, this is the safest place to travel. So the stronghold should be this way. I keep saying it and I keep putting it off, but we really could do with a decent sort of nether hub up here. But no one sees it apart from me. If I was in a multiplayer server I would make it look very pretty like I did my one on the original Qcraft server just finished it in time for a map reset awesome right lovely lava Should really tidy this up as well, I'll just keep poaching it for the blocks do do do, we'll get there in the end, oh yeah this needs a railway line it's good having a run because it reminds me what I need to do, and when um, I rewatch this video, when I edit it, that will remind me again of what I want to do. Definitely need to do something with this. Wants to be about three wide railway line powered roof all the way. That means I'll have to redo the water. There she is, loading in. Lovely, we'll probably see Endermen start falling in a minute. Oh yeah, new snapshot, you can't hardly see through the water. Can't see through ice hardly anymore. Changed lots of things on the transparency side of things. Right, so let's get in here with these boys. We need to put some glowstone in here as well and get rid of all these torches. They were only meant to be temporary. Wait, what do we want? About 15 levels to do the boots, I think, or the chest piece. It might take long. Right, that'll do something. What did I go for? Boots. And that's why we named the boots and the chest piece and everything as well, so it makes them. We didn't name them. We didn't name them at all. We're going to need more levels for that. Mm, we won't bother naming them this time. I ain't named that either. 26? Is that because that's got thorns on it? 33. Right, I shall get them 26 levels off camera. And mend that. superb having a decent XP farm, being able to get about 30 levels in about 60 seconds makes life a lot easier for repairing and enchanting. Let's see what we can... no we don't want an anvil, we want an enchanting table for this, see what we can get on a pair of chain leggings. Oh I like them when they're nice and short. Projectile protection 4. Well that's not the end of the world is it? Not the end of the world, especially if we see a skelly. Well, there's our diving helmet, so we 
we shouldn't even really be wearing a diving helmet for general purpose. Let's put that away. Let's get up here and hit some endermen. See how quickly we can't get to level 30. I'm not timing it. You can if you like. Seem to be missing them quite a lot of the time. Standing on standing too close, or whether it's because they're glitching, or whether I'm not really missing them. That's just the sound sound engine doing its thing that it does when you get too many of the same sound. It just shuts down, like the blaze just go quiet, or the villagers. They just they just go nearly silent sometimes because there's t too many of them. We got 22, 23. Come on, shouldn't take much longer. I do need to run my books from my library down here now, though. They were all right in the base next to the skelly spawn. That's where I always got my levels, but now I get my levels here for putting books on anvils and putting books onto diamond tools, weapons and armour. I've got a lot of good books back at my old base. So that weren't too bad for 30 levels. We're there now. I won't get you to watch me do that very often but it's nice to show the level 30 sprint sometimes. So what we're going to get out of this. Let's have a longer one for a change. Look at that! Fire Protection 4, Aqua Affinity 1, Respiration 3, Unbreaking 3. That's crazy. That's a crazy helmet. Look at that. I don't think I've ever got 4 enchants on a helmet before. That's a better diving bell than my diving bell. That is, that's only got Respiration 2. Oh well, we'll go with that. Right, I haven't got brought any books with me, have I? Well, blank books. And we have one or two pearls there. Right, I'm going to get 30 levels, and then I'm going to meet you somewhere else. Here we are, back at our lovely base. Spiders spawning already. Skelly spawner switched off. Too noisy. Yep. Iron Golem Farm. Awesome. And we have a lot more than that there. Standard mob farm up there. Chanting room set in level 1. Must have been doing some cheap iron gear. Oh, that's what i got to do, yeah. You've seen me quite recently upgrade our care package to all iron. That's what I was probably doing all level 1. This is our die, come to the bed, care package. Torches, food, blocks, water, bow, arrows, weapons, armour, potions. I should have one of these beside every bed in my world. And we can upgrade all this to diamond if we want to. For the price of some sugarcane. What have we got going on in here? Food, pearls. Right, pearls can go in there. Keep some on us, a stack. Clay, some dye. Yeah, I'm going to take some of that with me back to where we're playing at the moment. Nothing going on in there. I don't think there's anything else here that I particularly want. Could do with the yes cactus, and I've got enough jungle. Think I've got enough of everything else. Are they poppies now? Yeah. Roses are now poppies. What we got in our nether box? Anything exciting? Quite a bit of quartz. I'll leave that there for now. Um, I've got plenty of string over there. I just think making bows for dispensers. But they, they don't stack in inventory so they're a pain to carry. Yeah. L um, I think the end of chest is full of pearls. We'll empty them into. And we want to put 
least one stack in the ender chest. Right, yep, put them in there. We will take a stack of iron. We may build another iron golem farm where we are, but we don't really think we need to. That's a lot of work for not much gain, especially now we can actually trade everything iron that we want again for sugar cane. So while I did come down here, my little mushroom farm is doing quite well because we weren't even we haven't even been here, so that must don't know what I was doing here last to get that growth. Um alphabetical order. Armour Yep, armour Feather Fallen Four Weapons No tools then weapons alphabetical Right, I'm breaking three is what I want. I don't think I've got anything here. What's my bow? My bow has not got flame on it. Have I got a flame? Fire aspect, power, power. I don't have a flame. Interesting. Power, power. Do I have an anvil in here? No, I don't, but I will have one upstairs. I'm going to put Unbreaking 3 on the shears. I know they don't take durability on glass or ice, but I may wish to use them on cobwebs and other such things, which is why I made sure I had 30 levels on me. Needed a big 9. So we've got Unbreaking 3 on them now. That's very handy. Looking quite groovy. Can see more of the skin with the chain mail on, which is nice as well. So what's going on outside in our old base? How dark is it out? Dunno, it's hard to tell now because the lighting has changed now from when you're indoors. It looks darker outside until you get out there. But it does look like I was gonna say early evening and I'm not far out. That sheep just made me jump. Come here, sheep. Get silk touched for no apparent reason. Apart from I felt like it. Yeah, that's the mob spawner where the gunpowder's coming from. It's only three layers of mob spawner, but works quite well. Done a lot of caving round here. Ned. Well, you're not Ned because you haven't got a name tag. Oop. Only what to look in your inventory. Why have you not got an inventory? Oh, that's your mule. I was going to say, why have you not got an inventory? Arrows. Well, that's not very useful, is it? Right. Have we got much oak here while I'm here? Oh, yeah. Let's go and have a go with these shears. So they've not got efficiency or anything on them, so they're probably really slow on ice. Let's have a go with them. Yeah, that's terrible. I mean, people use them for ice and glass. I expect they're probably quicker on... No, not really. See, if I were to attack my ice tray, I would generally go... I mean, this is more of an ice pick. I'll put a glass in there and some clay. Just get rid of some stuff. This is what I call an ice pick. tear into it. That's why I made the rest out of wood and snow so you can't hurt it with a pickaxe. If it was made out of stone or anything you'd end up smashing the actual ice tray to bits. So we always like to have ice. It's easier than having 64 buckets of water on us. I know you can make an infinite spring but ice is just lazy. Right, so we got a little bit of work done. We built in a couple of animal breeders. I moved Enderman. No dirt on me. Well, let's make it at least make it a bit more symmetrical. Yeah, I did move them to perfect villagers off camera. You didn't want to see the pain of that. There's enough pain moving a couple of pigs and a couple of cows. So I'm gonna chop down these trees in my tree farm 
And what can I say? Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye bye.